Hello, this is the opening screen to Microsoft 365 Word. When you first open the program, you're greeted with this screen, and of course our eyes go dead center right into the screen itself. We always tend to ignore the outer banks of these uh, programs, but let's go ahead and review the internal part. At the very top are a handful of templates, and you can always click More Templates as well. Down below are the recent files that have been opened on my particular window. Some of them have a pushpin, some of them don't. It's an easy single click on the name of the document to actually see a pushpin here, and you can actually push it and it'll be pinned to the list. Notice another icon says Share. I can share this out to my OneDrive with my coworkers. Well, where do I find all my pin files? Right here. The next button over says Pinned, and these are all of the documents that I have pinned because I want them to stay at the top of the list instead of floating off my list chronologically. And then, of course, I have a button that says Shared with me. On the left-hand panel, we have another button on the left that says New. Now, this is all of the templates, literally hundreds of them, free to you to use, no copyright infringement at all. It would be a good use of your time to browse around in there and see if there's anything clever you can find. And then, of course, the Open button allows me to search on this PC, another place on the internet, or browse somewhere else in order to find the same list that was just on the previous screen. This has an added benefit of folders. I can click that and see folders and not just document names, but locations I've been. I'll click back here on the home button and I want to take you up to the top of the window where it says Microsoft Word identifies a program you're in. On the right hand side, this shows me the username I'm using for my Microsoft account. The diamond is a review of your benefits of your subscription. This is for feedback. The question mark is for help, and we have minimize, resize and maximize, and then the close button if you ever want to use that. In this case, I'm going to double click the blank document button to go ahead and just open that and go to my main screen. Again, up on way up on top, we've got the word symbol, the autosave, mine is set to off if I want everything to be saved out to my Microsoft account, my OneDrive account, which keeps a very minute by minute version of this document, I would have that on. I generally work with mine off, but that's my preference. Then a save button. This drop down arrow is our quick access toolbar. We will have an entirely separate lesson just on that. This is a second document I've had open today that I have not named, so it keeps in the number there. Don't worry if yours says document one, not a big deal. Search box, I can click there and search for any word in this document. And again, the same set of buttons on the top right. Let's go to the next level down. We have File, Home, Insert, Draw, Design. These are called ribbons. They're full of buttons. There's a lot of work for us to do because we're going to have lessons on all of these. Woohoo! On the View ribbon, please note that I have the check mark set on Ruler so that I can see the ruler above my document and to the left. I'll go ahead and turn it off so you can see the difference when I turn it on and turn it off. I choose to keep that on all the time. On the right hand side, we have a comments. This will open up comments that maybe a coworker has written. Maybe your instructor at college has written you a comment on your document. You can add your own comments and then just turn that panel on or off with that button right there. This button is for editing a shared document. And this is the share button, of course, to share it out. If I can get your eyeballs down to the bottom, notice we have a zoom control. We can zoom in, zoom out or move the lever back and forth. We have three buttons here. One is for web layout, which basically has no margin boundaries at all on the internet, no margin boundaries. So maybe you're designing something for the internet. The next one is print layout. This is my personal preference. I always work in this view. It shows me all my margins around my piece of paper. Reading mode, we'll split it like a book because I have no text, it makes no sense to use it right now. So I'll go back to print layout. Then of course the focus button, Focus will actually zero in on what you're reading, what you're working on. Hitting escape on my keyboard takes me out of that. I can go into display settings and on the left hand side, I've got some other additional buttons that we will have lessons on why we want them and why we want to use those. All right, that's it for our Microsoft Word screen overview. I'll see you in the next lesson shortly.